straight. Good morning. Welcome back to the boot room. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been on the YouTube and by the look of me, you're probably thinking you sold all the boots, bought loads of crack, smoked it all. But no, there's been a lot going on. If you follow us on Instagram, you will have seen a while ago, I put the gears in motion to be able to quit the day job and take proper retro full time. So this is where we're at, in the office. But it means I've not had time really to make some YouTube videos. So I've had a lot of stuff to sort out involving, you know, finishing up at the day job, sorting things out on the back end here. Lots going on, but it's all good stuff. So that means I'm in a good place now to have the time to hopefully be able to bring you a couple of videos every single week on different stuff, not just the usual behind the scenes vlogs. And that is what brings me to this video, because if you are watching this, you've seen the title, you've clicked on it, and you want to know how myself and you, the viewer, if you're in the same position as me, after a long, long stint of lockdowns, gyms being open, gyms being closed, football being on, football being off, do I go for a run? I'm tagged in a 5K challenge, can I be bothered? Do I sit and watch Westworld? Do I get a takeaway? That's right, the lockdown bod. A lot of us have it. A lot of us relied on football for our cardio. Yeah, maybe we go to the gym and lift weights. Maybe you've been on a bulk for a long time, like me. Maybe you weigh 100 kilos now, like me. Maybe usually when you play football, you weigh about 90 kilos, like me. This is where we're at. What I'm gonna do over the next 10 weeks is try and bring you one of these videos every single week, showing you the different foods that I'm eating, uh, exercise routines that I'm using, the cardio, the lifting, the supplements, everything that I can, all the tips that I've accumulated over my years and years of going to the gym and transforming my own body personally from being what I would describe as a big fat fatty into someone who is in pretty good shape most of the time. Uh, I'm gonna use all this information and I'm gonna try and show you what I'm doing and hopefully help some of you guys get in better shape for the return of the next football season. Obviously it's gonna to be tough, it's summer, you wanna be out drinking, things are opening up, it's the Euros. Throw all your beers in the air instead of drinking them maybe. Burn a few extra calories. No, obviously I'm gonna try and show you how I still live life and have fun, but also put a lot of effort into slimming down, getting myself in a better position to be able to play football. I would also like to preface this video by saying, obviously I am not a qualified personal trainer or nutritionist. This is all just anecdotal information that I have accrued over the years. Hopefully you might be able to find it helpful, but if there's anything that you are unsure about, ask someone who's a PT, ask someone who's a nutritionist, go to your doctor if you have any kind of health concerns revolving around your weight and your fitness, stuff like that. I will be able to help you with those and I'm just showing you what I'm doing. For hopefully entertainment purposes. Also, so if you want to come with me right now, I will start off showing you where I'm at, my starting point. I'm gonna be very honest and you know, if you don't want to see a slightly overweight 26 year old man, look away now. But come with me, I'll show you everything I'm doing. Hopefully you can learn something and if not, hopefully you can laugh at the state of me right now. So without further ado, this is my big fat football diet, episode one. So, when I say fat, I mean by my personal standards for right now, I'm at the end of a bulking or gaming phase for about eight, nine months. I was eating a large calorie surplus, lifting heavy weights, trying to gain muscle all the way through lockdown. I was getting online coached by a professional men's physique athlete and we had some good weights that we could borrow and then obviously when the gyms were open, we have a gym in our building and stuff like that. I've been lifting weights and into the whole kind of fitness thing for about six, yeah, about six years now since I was first at uni. I used to be very overweight as a child. I will try and insert some pictures into this video to give you some perspective. So I've always struggled with my weight and self-image issues, stuff like that. So when I found fitness and it became a big part of my life, that was amazing. But you're probably thinking, what? No monster energy? Not yet. I'm actually trying to cut down on my monsters, fun fact. This is just, before I go and do some cardio this morning, this is just a little bit of, this is a bit of this double tap. It's 
from Redcon One Supplements. He says it's a fat burner. I don't actually believe that over the counter fat burners work. If it's a fat burner and it works, it's probably not legal. So, um, yeah, double. It's literally just some caffeine and some other little bits. Uh, I'm just having half a scoop because it is the morning right now and I need to wake up a little bit. It's got some stuff in here like acetyl L carnitine and dandelion root extract and a bit of caffeine and uh, some choline, which is just overall going to help with my blood flow, make me feel a bit more flushed, make me feel a bit warmer, sweat a little bit more. Uh, Caffeine is going to raise the heart rate a little bit, which raising your heart rate does in turn overall increase your energy expenditure levels, but mostly it's just for a bit of extra energy, so I feel good going into doing a bit of cardio, a little bit more energy, which means hopefully I'll work a little bit harder. So, I've got half a scoop of this just to wake me up. And then we're going to head down to the gym in my building, do about half an hour of cardio in the morning here. I've not eaten anything. I like to do my cardio in a fasted state not that it really has any actual scientific benefit for burning more fat I just prefer to get it out of the way in the morning and then after my cardio what I'm gonna do is come back up here fast for a little bit have my first meal in the early afternoon say half 12 ish and we'll pick up there right off to the gym crap check I'm going to switch over to filming on this bad boy while I'm in the gym because I'm not that guy, you know, I'm not Steve Cook, can't really take this massive camera in the gym, but I'll film on my iPhone, show you a few little bits from what I'm going to do for my morning cardio routine. Obviously, there are some generic things you want to do for getting in shape for football, running, obviously, you're going to run a lot, but for me personally, as a bigger guy, heavier on my feet, I'm going to show you a few of the different things that I like to do to try and not only get me fitter, but get me lighter on my feet. Uh, more agile and more mentally switched on, I think, personally. Right, phone time, here we go. doing cardio in the gym. I had a incredibly exciting chicken salad when I got in. Uh, at some point I'll do a video kind of like a full day of eating showing you all the stuff that I eat in a day right now but I thought in this video there's gonna be so much information and stuff that you don't need to see that yet. But cardio is done I've just been sat in the boot room for the last couple of hours packing up orders organizing deals stuff like that which is now you know my day-to-day -day work. I may or may not have been watching videos of people opening Pokemon cards on YouTube as well. But I'm gonna make another meal in a second. It's currently 20 to two. So I'm gonna have some food. I'm gonna be working out about three o'clock. So I like to give it like about an hour and a half for my food to digest before I work out. So I'll rustle something up, try and show you this one, and maybe have a can of monster because it wouldn't be a PRB video without a can of monster, would it? Anyway, before I do that, I thought I would whip my kit off and give you a rough idea of what I look like. Currently, you know, it's always good to see the results. I'm not doing this to be like, you know, look at me, especially since I, like I said for me, I'm not in the best shape right now. But it's just giving you a guide of where I'm starting at so you can see the progress as we go along. And hopefully you guys can make progress too. It gives you something to gauge it off or if you are tentative about starting, hopefully you'll see the progress that I make during this little dieting period and it can, you know, maybe inspire you. So if you'd like to come with me, I'll get naked. Three, two, one, and voila, here I am. All 100.8 kilos of body weight right now. Like I said, for my standards, I'm a little bit heavier than I would like to be right now. I've been gaining weight on purpose for a while and it's time to trim down. I understand everyone's at different points in their fitness journey. This could be the first fitness-based video you ever watch. This could be uh, yet another one amongst all the fitness YouTubers that you're into. You might go to the gym all the time. You might have never been to a gym before. You might be thinking, this guy's a mug. Why am I watching this? If you are, please hang around. I promise I'm all right. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys. 108 kilos. No abs right now. Hopefully, more muscular than... Uh, 
than I was before the bulk. But yeah, this is my starting point. In 10 weeks, hopefully, all this will have gone. Be back in good shape, back feeling confident, playing football, feeling more athletic. That's the aim. So I'm gonna show you what I'm having for my pre-workout meal and then I'll, again, try and get in the gym, get a couple of clips of lifting, give you a rough idea of what I'm doing. I hope this doesn't hurt your eyes too much. So bread is in the toaster, lightly toasting. We are gonna have a little sweet and smoked barbecue chicken, salad, sandwich, with a ketchup in there. I'm gonna have one of these Faye high protein yogurts. Amazing way to get a little bit of extra protein in if you want a little like sweet treat as well. Another alternative there is protein bars. They are quite calorie dense though, the amount of, um, the amount of protein you get. Obviously, it's not a big amount of size, you know, physically, the food to fill you up for quite a lot of calorie. But if you want a sweet treat, if you like chocolate bars, stuff like that, try and switch to a protein bar, help you get some more protein in. Yes, they are expensive, but they are for convenience. Uh, but I'm gonna have a couple of squares of this Lynn dark chocolate with sea salt. Fun fact. Dark chocolate, uh, the darker the better really. This probably not so much, but if you're having like 90% dark chocolate before you work out, helps as a uh, nitric oxide booster, same way that stuff like beetroot does, helps uh, nitric oxide in your blood flow, basically helping you get more of a pump when you're working out. It's a nice little sweet treat to fit in there as well. If, like me, you like to have a savoury meal and then something sweet at the end. Pre-workout meal. You know, try and keep it fairly healthy. A couple of squares of dark chocolate afterwards. Just take the edge off. Delightful. Okay, I lied. I'm not having the uh, chicken sandwich anymore. I actually decided I'm going to eat this instead. Just chuck some filly and some salt and pepper on this toast. This is some sourdough. It's quite small slices. Uh, basically, the thinking is I'm working out in like an hour and a half. I want something that's going to digest really easily. For me, personally, I digest bread very well. I eat filly all the time. I'm going to have my little yogurt, protein bar, maybe one square of this fit it all into my macros and also along with it gonna have a serving of this RPG from Redcom 1 nutrient partitioning I'll explain a little bit more about this in a sec there we go sit you down where you belong so please excuse the mess in the background that you see I'm in the boot room eating that meal that I was just talking about then and I thought I would explain a little bit about how I structure my food throughout the day in order to achieve my goals the best I can basically I worked out this morning, I hadn't eaten anything. I'm not particularly hungry in the morning usually. I like to intermittent fast, which basically means I put off my first meal as long as possible, and then the meals I have later in the day can be a bit bigger, fill me up more, because I have a huge appetite. Uh, so this meal now is fairly carbohydrate high compared to what I'm having throughout the day. This is because I want to have time to uptake all the carbohydrates from this meal, get them into my system, ready to lift weights, because lifting weights relies mainly on uh, intramuscular glucose stores, ATP. A load of science that you don't really need to know right now, but basically I like to get most of my carbs in before and after my weights work out. Don't really need them in the morning, so that's why I'm having this stuff now. Once we digest quick so that I feel good when I'm in the gym, because for me, when I'm lifting weights, that is in a dieting phase all about maintaining as much of the muscle I have as possible, rather than trying to burn calories. Burning calories is for playing football and for the cardio that I do in the morning, getting steps in, stuff like that. Lifting weights is not about burning calories for me although obviously you know it helps it does burn so i'm gonna sit eat this enjoy it and i'll pick you up when i am doing a little bit of boot work while this digests show you a few little bits that's why you're here and then i'll take you to the gym for gym session number two of the day lifting weights cool food is done boots are packed just had a massive order from a geezer out of new zealand five pairs he's a seller over there so i've done him a nice little deal on these i'm assuming you know these are the kind of boots people want in New Zealand. Me, my point. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. So yeah, I spoke a little bit earlier. This is some RPG nutrient partitioning from Redcon One. I'm not sponsored by Redcon One, by the way. They just had a crazy deal on the website. I got these for free. This is why I'm about to tell you about these. These are what we call the glucose disposal agent. Uh, they are supposed to help with the uptake of glucose from high carbohydrate meals, making sure you are utilizing the most of it for energy and it's not sat around your system. But the bigger topic I wanted to cover, supplements in general, do you need them to lose weight? Absolutely not. Do you need them to build muscle? Absolutely not. No, you don't need supplements at all. The word supplement indicates 
that is supplementary to your diet and training. It is an added extra if you can afford them, if there's stuff you like, sure there are things out there that work. Are these gonna help me at all? Uh, in general, I tend to, when I take glucose disposal agents, when I'm eating a lot of carbohydrates, I tend to feel my digestion is a bit better. I generally take supplements. For, like, for me, the supplements that are the most effective are anything to help with digestion or sleep, because they are two of the most important things that people overlook in terms of training, recovery, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna knock back a serving of this now with my favorite supplement of all, Monster Energy. Again, not sponsored, but if anyone knows anyone who works for Monster, I have so many people message me all the time, sending me pictures of cans of Monster, being like, I got this because you said they were good. So, think that means I'm an influencer now? Right, I'm gonna knock this back. I'm gonna take some pairs that I packed up earlier to the post office, get those sent out. Then it's time for the gym for workout number two. Here we go. Five pills. All in one. Ah, what a savage. Oh, again, I'm going to switch to the iPhone for the gym footage. So I'll see you on here in one sec. So filming that workout didn't quite go to plan. The gym started getting super busy and then the storage, oh, my focus. And then the storage on my phone got full. So there's one clip for you. I promise I'll do a full lifting session soon. Maybe a video taking you through a kind of split that I do, if anyone cares. But I wanted to wrap this video up with a basic breakdown of how we diet, what makes it effective and what tips you can take away from this to start your fitness journey for getting back to playing football. So, let's begin with a Diet Coke. Anyone else like that bit? Okay, so rule number one is energy expenditure. Basically, you have to be eating less calories than you are burning in a day in order to be in a calorie deficit. You have to be in a calorie deficit to be dropping body fat or body weight. But for our focus is on body fat. Weight includes overall, you know, muscle, water balance, all that stuff. Your weight doesn't matter so much as your body fat percentage. So we are making sure that we're eating enough protein to maintain the muscle that we have. So a rough guide that I go for is like one gram of protein for every pound of body weight. Uh, you would go for kind of lean body weight. So for me, anywhere from like 180 to 200 grams of protein, I weigh about 220 pounds right now, 100 kilos, somewhere around 16 stone. So I'm eating 180 to 200 grams of protein every day. There is four calories in one gram of protein. So that say 200 grams of protein a day, that's 800 calories boxed off for protein. Then you wanna make sure you're eating enough fats to cover your essential fatty acid needs. This helps regulate things like uh, heart health, joints, uh, brain function, and your endocrine system, so your hormones. So you wanna make sure you're getting good quality fats in from, if you eat meat, then you know fatty cuts of meat uh, from oily fish is a great source, obviously. Gets your omega-3s, omega-6, all that kind of stuff in from fish. You can chuck in stuff like peanut butters if you want. I eat a bit of dark chocolate, a little bit of cheese, stuff like that. Basically, for me, I'm eating about 60 grams of fat a day. There is nine calories in every gram of fat, so six times nine is 540. So 800 calories for protein, 540 for fats. That puts us at 1,340 calories per day. Right now, I am aiming for 2,400 calories a day. That means the leftover calories that I have, so about 1,000, like 1,040 is gonna be made up of carbohydrates. Four calories per gram of carbohydrates. Again, same as protein. So I'm gonna divide that, which works out what, 260 grams of carbs a day. Right now, this is my starting point. Uh, basically, the reason that I've picked roughly 2,400 calories a day is for me, my body's maintenance amount of calories. So the calories I need to stay at the same weight right now is about 3,000 calories a day. If I eat 3,000 calories a day and I'm weight training, going about my business, I'll stay roughly the same kind of body weight, body composition. So to be in a calorie deficit, I have to be below 3,000 and 
usually if you are taking uh, in a deficit of 500 calories a day from your maintenance, 3,500 calories a week, so that's 500 times seven, that roughly equates to uh, one pound of body fat in extra expenditure. So I'm at about 600 calorie deficit right now because I want to try and lose weight for me pretty quickly. But usually at the start of a diet, I'll drop a bit of weight a bit quicker just because I'm not eating the excess calories that I was before. That'll come down, things like water will come down. So my overall weight will come down quite a bit quite quickly. And then the longer you diet, the harder it gets to get the bits of fat off. But you know, it's not my first rodeo doing this, as I've said before. So. Overall, I'm going for about 2,400 calories a day right now. I'm doing cardio a few times a week. I'm lifting like five, six days a week. Hopefully playing football once, maybe twice if possible a week. This for me, is quite an intense diet. Usually I would start with my calories higher and ease my way into it over a long time, dieting for like 16 to 20 weeks. I've got 10 weeks until I am hopefully going on holiday. Uh, and obviously I'm back playing football, so I wanna drop this weight quickly, but safely. Safety is always the most important thing. Like I said, I'm not a PT, I'm not a nutritionist. This is just what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys can learn a bit from this. If anybody wants to learn more about the nutrition stuff, there's loads of great people on YouTube. There's loads of great people you can watch on YouTube to learn about lifting weights, stuff like that. Anything, I'm sure there's people out there who do solely football related fitness content as well. I've not watched any, so I can't recommend any. This has been episode one of my big fat football diet. Showing you where I'm starting at. We'll pick up every week. I'll be posting some stuff on Instagram as well so you can follow along. Let me know if you're gonna join me on this journey. Please comment below, like the video, share it with someone if you've got a friend who needs to get back in shape for playing football. Hopefully this can help them out. Everything that I'm doing, I'm gonna show you guys and we can get fit together, get back playing football and put the fun back into football. That's what I'm all about. So Marcus from Popper Retro Boots, thank you. Season ticket holders, it's a pleasure as always. I'll be back with another classic vlog as well very soon. Peace out everyone, thank you and goodbye.